everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at this, what I believe to be quite early Westinghouse lifeguard bulb, 175 watt mercury vapor with deluxe white coating. So let's take a look at the base here. Very nice what appears to be brass base and our glass insulator. And again, of course, our center contact there. Inside, we have our stem press. And what do we have there? 69, it looks like. And our little evacuation air hole there. Yeah, 69. No matter what way you'd look at it, I suppose you'd get that. And, of course, a B on the other side. Inside, we, of course, have our arc tube. And it's being held in place by the strip going across there. We can see our starting resistor over here for the starting probe. On the other end, we'll try to get a look inside as well. Very nice lifeguard arc tube in there. This one, it appears like it's a little past the uh, white phase. It's It's got a quite blackened arc tube now. But we'll see if we can get it turned on here in this video. At the very top, we'll try to get a look at the etch here. Let me get it oriented. Okay, so it looks like we have Westinghouse there at the very top. And I'm trying to see what we have for a date code there. Something 9. I want to say it's like 79. I don't know. It's really hard to see, to be honest. Uh, Westinghouse, again, the Westinghouse logo. Um, H, H39, 22, KC slash DX for Deluxe White. Lifeguard. 175 watt. Um, DLX White Mercury. Again, very hard to see. Hopefully you can kind of make that out there. Okay, let's go ahead and get it in a fixture and demonstrate it for all of you. Got the bulb installed here in our 1965 GEM250R. So let's go ahead and turn it on in three, two, one. Let's get a spectrum of that. All these are taken about a foot away from the arc tube at a slight angle to hopefully keep the light from the window out. Before we let it warm up, we're at 119.3 volts, 0.81 amps. Uh, let's see, 100 watts and 0.98 on the power factor. A little late at presenting that, I apologize. Usually I do that right after we do a turn on, but I was just admiring this bulb. So now we will let it warm up. Okay, I'd say we're at full brightness here. Both the lux meter and the watt meter have both evened out. They haven't changed their ratings here in a little bit. So let's go ahead and see what they have to say. We're currently at 118.5 volts, 1.95 amps, 
231 watts, 230 now, and a power factor of 0.99. Our little lux meter down here is currently stating 144 lux or so. Naturally, we have some natural light coming in behind us here, but for the most part, we just have a pretty greened out mercury vapor bulb. I mean, it does produce some light still, obviously, but it's not as bright as a brand new one, that's for sure. Let's take a look at our graphs. Here we have the spectrum of the bulb right after turn on, the CRI of the bulb right after turn on, the spectrum of the bulb at full brightness, and the CRI of the bulb at full brightness. Let's watch a nice little cool down here. As always, I do hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, be sure to give it a like down below and leave a comment. I do enjoy reading all of your comments. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more great videos like this one. Also check out my secondary channel Mercove and subscribe over there for more behind the scenes and alternative content. Of course, check out the other videos here on this screen. And as always, thank you very much for watching.